All right, uh, let's do uh, Oh my god. Dating every word in the dictionary. Yes, every word in the dictionary. It's episode 19 of Rating Every Word in the Dictionary. Um, no real fun intro this time. Let's just go. We are on accident of nature. An event that happens naturally. Uh, yeah, I guess that checks out. I'm going to give that a four. Accidentology. That sounds... Uh, okay, the study and analysis of the cause and effects of accidents. Sounds neat. I would like to be an accidentologist if I had to be an ologist. Give that a. F- I'm going to give that a six. Uh, what I guess about a you? Seven. seven. Okay. Okay. Seven for accidentology. All right. Accident prone. I wonder. Nah, no. All right. Accident prone. Have a greater than average number of accidents having personality traits that predispose to accidents. Uh, I don't, I don't know if I'm accident prone. I don't think I am. Are um, your pants currently so wet? Give, not yet. Then you are not. So I'll give that a. Hey, thanks. I'll give that a five or yours. Uh well, um, uh, you see, that's a, that that's that's a very straightforward question that requires multiple nuanced answers. Are they moist? Because, because if you're asking me, do I sweat profusely from every crevice on my body? Then the answer oh. is an emphatic yes. If you just ask me hoping. if general portions of my person are wet, I'm going to say, well, in what context? I am glad that gyms are kind of like taboo right now because uh, when I go to the gym, I sweat a lot. And the worst thing is like when you're sitting on those leather benches and uh, like you kind of get some spread in your legs. So like your buttholes just kind of touching the uh, the leather and then like you get up and while you're like going to get like a towel to wipe down the bench, you look down and you just have like a butthole mark of sweat on the bench um yeah that makes you feel real good about yourself anyway exidia is uh the next word has that ever happened to you um just leave a big a big I old know, I, sweat I leave, mark well yeah i was gonna say not 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 what you said but my massive gigantic balls are what um Ow. leave a print i'm proud i'm proud of you <laughs> um they this are word, so incredibly Incredibly purple. Huge. Oh, um, wiener not so much, but balls very very big. Hey, I mean it's got to be something. It's one or the other. One or the other can't it's be both. Never both at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't care what sad. anyone on the internet says. It's only one or the other. Sad truth. All right, as uh, so we have Exidia. Uh, means nothing, so I'm going to give it a placeholder three. Exide, same thing, three, three. This is probably the same thing, basically, three. Um, uh, that's what I just clicked. Okay, ding ding, three, three, three. A singe, exinge, archaic to brace oneself up. Um, may exinge ourselves for a supreme effort. By A.T. Quiller Couch. I don't know. I kind of like this one. It sounds neat. Uh, It's a cool word. I'm going to use it. But um, I give it a six. For just being cool. It's just neat. Super neat. Uh All right. Uh, Excipiter. Any genus of media. Hey. Oh, oh, this is a forest hawk. I'm going to short broad wings and a long tail and characteristic flight patterns of several quick flaps and a glide. (laughs) <laughs> that sounds cool I'm gonna I'm interested in what an exhibitor looks like yeah it looks like a like a hawk kind of like it said mm-hmm. 
All right, good for him. Uh, give him a seven. Yeah, he looks cool. All right, accipitral, resembling that of a hawk. Ah, that I learned something. Sense. I give that a six. Me too. For making me learn things. Six for knowledge. All right, accipitrous. Taxonomic synonym of oh, that starting, is a word. Starting not starting not to like it as much, but uh, all right. But what yeah. about this word? Falconiforms. Falconiforms. Uh, that sounds cool. That's a, I like that. I give it a seven just for that. Super cool word. I'll uh, I'll give it a six again. All right. Uh, Exhibitrid. Is that what I just did? No. A bird of the family of the Exhibitrid. I think we're gonna get are, we're getting back into the genus stuff. So. It's oh, gonna. It, there are gonna be some repeats. Like, okay, we only got. Okay, so that one's gonna be a five. This one probably the same thing. Yep, same hawk. Uh, give him a six again. All right, now we have excite, obsolete to sight or to summon. Um, I don't know. It sounds neat. Uh, not as neat as uh, what was it? Exinge. So I'll give that one a five. All right, we have Axius. Oh, that sounds uh, cool. Lucius Axius. Sounds like a Pokemon. <laughs> that was also a Roman poet and or uh, scholar. No, uh, you can't catch a Roman poet and force it to fight to the death with... Um, he looks like Jesus. A Roman tax attorney. This one, not, not that one. <laughs> yes we're going by the correct depiction of jesus christ <laughs> oh, which is God. this fat piece of shit right here <laughs> that's what he looked he like paid... look at his turkey neck somebody <laughs> somebody like he paid money for that stone carving of himself i'm guessing and that's what they came up with. Like this one. Uh, excuse us, Lucius. One... Um, would you prefer us not to make your neck look like a bulging vagina? No, leave it in. They must see me like... as I was. Disgusting. It looks like he. It looks like he has a second face facing that way, coming <laughs> off the side of his head. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna give him a. Two, uh, for his ugly two faces on his fat head. Ugly people existed in uh, long times ago. Whatever the word is for that. Yeah. Ancient times. Uh, ancient times. <laughs> and dumb people exist now. <laughs> uh, that right. word gets, a, a gets an eight. Oh, I gave it or a two because he was really ugly. No, 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 no. No, uh, no, 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 no. You score ugly people right, higher. I'll, I'll bump him up. <clears throat> Oh, to make them feel good about themselves. They've had it hard enough every other day of God, their life. They? Honestly. All right. Acclaim, applaud, praise. Um, I, whatever. It, it's kind of a nothing word to me. I give it a three. Acclaimed, same thing. Don't know why I clicked. Uh, three, acclaimer. Give that a give that one a two. I'm not a fan. Acclaiming, three, acclaims, four. Wait, what did we give a claim? Uh, I gave it a three. I don't know if you gave it a thing. Uh, are are you telling me selfish. that um, that the oh, mighty wait, a game video game developer a claim? You gave them a meager three. Okay. Out of when two. I was when I was grading it, I did not think of the gaming company until you started to chastise me. So a claim that gets a seven point five. A developer or a publisher? Me. Uh, Ooh, developer and publisher. Oh, they gave them. us such gems as Turok and more Turok. Turok. <laughs> oh my god, you remember that game? I never played it. <laughs> But more Turok? <laughs> oh, no. oh no, I was saying BMX Triple X. Oh no, I never played that. Oh wait, they did Mortal Kombat 2? No. That doesn't sound right. Oh, Burnout. That was a fun game. Mm. Oh yeah, they did the they did the, the old South Park game. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, good for them. Alright, yeah, I'll uh I'll give them a seven. The rest of them stand. As whatever they were. 
All right, now we have acclimation. Process or result of acclimating, especially physiological Sounds cool. adjustment by an- Sounds like a cool word. It does sound cool. Yeah, I like and it. it's your body getting used to the cold or whatever. I don't like doing so, that though. don't like getting used to the cold. Mm, Can you hear it I when I move my cold. mic? Uh, are you moving it right now? Uh, maybe. Does it sound like then it? No. Oh, cool. It does not. Neat. Yeah, so acclimation gets a five. Acclimate gets a four. Acclimated three. Acclimating five. Acclimation. That one sounds cool. I'll give that a six. Um, you good with those grades? Yes. Or do you want me to click them? I can, I can always click for you. No clicking required. Okay. The I scores will enough. stand. Perfect. Acclimatize. The British spelling of acclimatize. Uh, so that's going to get a two for Britain. Yep. Don't like it. Um, <sighs> acclimatization or acclimatization. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> All right, um, you know, give that a three. All right, now the uh, American version. Never mind. Uh, so I'll give uh, the American one a three since I gave the British one a two. Uh -huh. Climatizing. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. Cli or the same, yeah. Three for that one, acclimatizer. Yep, three, acclimatizing. Three, acclimatory. Wait, did I do these ones already? No. No. Climatory sounds like a fancy place where people climb on rock walls and also get injected with an experimental monkey serum. I just wanted to say the word monkey. Why? Okay. I, I was going to ask about that last part. It would help them climb better, so that makes sense. Yep. They I just want to be the best climbers. Didn't even put those two together. That works for me. Perfect. All right, so uh, of or relating to the physiological adjustment made by an organism to a change in its immediate environment, like a rich person getting monkey serum pumped into their body to be better at climbing. <laughs> so you were actually right. That's going to get an eight. It's so weird that they put that there in the example sentence. <laughs> All right, eclavitis. Gets a seven for monkey seven. Eclavities? Eclavities. Seven, serum, yep. serum. seven monkeys. All right. Um, acclivity and ascending slope as of a hill. Uh, uh, don't like slope. Sounds too fancy. So it gets four. Yeah, it sounds too fancy for a hill too. So that's going to get a four for me. Acclivus. Acclivius. Slipping upward is. Don't like slopes. Oh god. Another four. I'm good at pronouncing stuff though. So yeah, I'm going to give that a three. Uh, a cloy. This is an old Western guy um, with one of those hats. Obsolete. And a uh, oh, yeah, the, the Hatfields a and, and the uh, Hatfields and a Cloys. <laughs> I'm so glad you could figure out what I was trying to say. You know, the guys uh, with the hats and the guns and the blood feud from what that one show. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a who was in that show? Uh, actor, the Hatfields and the McCoys. If uh, I recall, you're, you're it right. wasn't a, a fictional television show. It was a do, it was a drama documentary, a drama yeah. dramatary. Yeah, I, I was just I I thought there was a famous guy in it. For some reason, my heart went to Tommy Lee Jones, yep. but I don't think that's Shooty right. McGee was his name. Uh, sh he was Shooty a horrible McGee. shot. Poor Shooty. All right, a Cloy. Is that the one I just clicked? Yep. Yep. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna get a seven for the Cloys. All right, a coast. Obsol obsolete variant of a cost. As someone who accosts people on a daily basis, oh. I have oh. to give this a nine out of 10. I'm gonna tell you a fun story today. I, was it a, I was at a shopping center, right? Okay. And um, I have a, ha oh, I should say this. I have a habit of harking big fat ones on cars that don't, yield to crosswalks specifically ones i'm in the process of crossing that makes sense this is a 100 percent true story today by the way uh, i 100 believe so we're anything, crossing the street say. we're crossing the street we're in a cross an actual crosswalk it's not like we're jaywalking we're in an actual crosswalk and i see this bitch is coming and she's not slowing down 
so I prime the cannon, right? And she blow, <laughs> and it, she's going fast too. It's not like a slow creep in it, like a shopping center stroll, you know? Yeah, she, she's just completely unaware. She's blowing through. So I'm like, all right. Who? Wait, who is through? Huh? You said she's blowing through. Oh fuck so, off! I mean, Let I'm... me tell, finish this story. Okay, sorry. So I load the cannon and she just and she's going she, like she would have hit b- both of us had had I not been like, all right, this bitch isn't going to stop. Mm. So I let it fly. And this dumb bitch has her window down and it goes <laughs> right in. <laughs> uh, and I hear her scream. Do? I hear her scream. <laughs> And I just wave and, and go into the shop that we were going into. Oh, that's amazing. So, you know, um, whenever this show gets super big and everybody's listening to us, if you're listening, lady that got spit on today, learn to fucking yield, you stupid bitch. Uh, that was a life lesson for her that she probably didn't learn. That's amazing. Oh, that makes me so happy. When I... uh. When I went to a co- uh, different college than the one I'm at right now, I used to uh, slowly walk across crosswalks in hopes that somebody would hit me and my <laughs> school school would get paid for. <laughs> Never happened. I am deeply in debt. So, um, so you you know that the school that, that you currently go to and the one that I myself went to previously uh-huh. um, <laughs> is notorious for its uh, crosswalk murders. Oh, wait, really? Uh, I don't think anyone died, but people are, people, especially people on bikes, are constantly getting hit in the crosswalk. They deserve it, though. Yeah, they do. Um, this is a completely unrelated note. Uh, do you also Perfect. know that we have an incredibly large Asian population on that university? Well, I feel like that narrows it down to what university we go to. So, no, I didn't know that. I thought it was only, um, you know, chiefly Kenyans and Californians yeah. that yeah. were on no, our campus. No, no, those are two interesting facts about that university is that people are constantly getting mowed down in the crosswalks and there's so many Asians. I just think that's interesting. Huh. It's almost like those two things are related. No, I don't think so. <laughs> all right accolade uh a mark of acknowledgement award uh isn't we all know what accolade to? is huh isn't this a finishing move too uh, uh, i don't I thought we were gonna stop i thought we were gonna stop talking about that oh i'm show. never gonna stop talking about wrestling it might be i don't i don't know i haven't been keeping up because it's very boring it's really bad. Oh, okay. It's Rusev's new finisher in AEW. Anywho, gonna give that a five. Accoladed four. Ooh, it's a fancy pretentious word. Accoli. Accolade. Let me look at it. Oh, yeah. Accola. Accola. All right. Uh, heraldry entwined about the neck. Mm. Uh, joined or touching at the neck. What are Shows these like disgusting bird shoes in this ad? Yeah, that is. What kind of stuff have you been good. looking at? I don't look at anything on this because I don't want anything to pop up when I type something in. <laughs> like your so entire address and <laughs> social yeah. security number. <laughs> uh, I mean, my address has basically been on this. I really need to go through and uh, blur those out. All right, Akale is going to get a three. This is going to be the same thing with an extra pointless E. So that's going to get a one for having a pointless letter. Accommodable. What if it's something completely different and we just skipped it? Well, I will go back and check. I'm not um, saying this to do is that. More I'm just saying, what if that was the case? Would that bug well, bug you? Check. Bother you? Oh, it would bug me. It oh would my god, me wouldn't it? So much. <laughs> like you have no just idea not how... knowing if if you skipped over something different and interesting, pointless. Yeah. Like I'm. Yeah, I uh, you know me a little too well because I have like that weird kind of itchy feeling about it now. I was about to make a dumb joke about this word being a uh, more accommodating, abominable snowman, and it was going to get an eight, but uh, now I just I don't care. 
It's the same it's thing. Exactly okay. The same. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. At least we know. All right. That's how uh, I say it when I'm writing something, like a work email. I, ha- I have to say it that way <laughs> so I can remember how to fucking spell it because my phone, the the program that we use doesn't have spell check. And they do that oh, on perfect. purpose to weed out the retards. So I'm constantly battling. And so, yeah, I say <laughs> accomodate while I'm, while I'm uh, typing it out so I don't fucking spell it wrong. At least it sounds like sort of Japanese and like whimsical when you say mm-hmm. it that way. So that's good. All right. Accomodate is going to be a pl- uh, to provide something with, to provide with something desired, needed or suited. Mm-hmm. Um, now that I know it's accommodate, it's going to get a nine. Yeah. I love that word. Use it a lot. It work. Don't, right, you ever, you don't ever one? use this one though. Oh my God. There's a lot. Of accommodate. Oh my God. There's a lot. Uh, all right. That's going to be a, th- Five accommodating, four accommodating, Lee, three accommodation. That's like technically uh, yeah, something different. Yeah, something supplied for convenience or to satisfy a need, such as lodging, food, blah, blah, blah. blah. Um, accommodations are nice. Uh, so I'll give that a six. Accommodational. I hope, I hope my spit got in her hair and she just could not get it out until she drove all the way home. <laughs> Wait, so, so did you get some like some chest in there? Like some. Oh yeah, I, no! I lean back before like, I do it because I, I want it to be like, hard and la- like the, well, they they I'm gonna get shot one day doing this. Someone's just gonna come out of their car with a gun and kill me because I lean back and get uh-huh. some good like oof to it. So when it hits, it hits, and I usually go for the windows um, or door handle, you know. But this time, Is the your window, aim that good? Yeah, it's scary. I guess if you do it enough. <laughs> yeah, I've gotten, gotten quite a bit of practice. Um, I also do it to cars that are double parked and um, cars in handicapped spots that don't have tags. So, and if you're bored. Yeah, sometimes if I get bored. <laughs> <laughs> you are the worst person possible. It's fine. Um, but accommodation is not the worst word possible. That's going to get a f- search five, Twitter six. and see. Cause she seemed like the stupid bitchy type that would complain about this on Twitter. Twitter.com. Yeah, she seems like the kind of person that would complain about it getting spit on. Uh huh. <laughs> Let me see. All right. Um, I'm just going to run through some of these. R. And I'm going go to go a four. Accommodation bill. Uh huh. Uh, uh, bill, draft or note made, drawn, accepted, or endorsed by one person or another without consideration to enable that other to raise money or obtain credit thereby. Uh, sounds adult, so I'm going to give it a one. Accommodation coefficient. Let me know if you find it. I'm like uh, the all right, The efficiency of a gas in removing heat from a surface expressed as the ratio of actual heat loss from the surface to the ideal loss. Don't know what it means, but I like it. Science is neat. Six. Accommodation house, a house for boarding and lodging travelers. So it's like a hotel or something that's going to be a four. Accommodationism, favoring or practicing accommodation or compromise. Nothing yet. Uh, oh, well, I believe in you. Keep trying. I'm going to do Accommodation it. Accommodation house is going to get a three. Accommodationism. Oh, wait, that's one I just, yeah, okay. Um, four, accommodationist. Same, basically same thing. Three, accommodation ladder. Light ladder stairway hung over the side of a ship for ascending from or descending to well, small Well, it has boats. something to do with ships, so it's going to get basically it's gonna a get, nine. It's going to be, yeah. Ships are neat. Going to give it a nine. Accommodation line. An insurance policy. Insurance going to give it a one. I dislike insurance as much as I like ships, apparently. Accommodation paper. A bill draft or... Okay, we did that basically earlier. It's going to be a three. Accommodation... Ooh. How do you feel about trains? Uh, I think they're bossy um, and are overcompensating um, for a lack of personality. No, I said trains, not trans. Oh, uh, trains are fine. They're cool. <laughs> uh, all right, a combination train. A train that stops at all, or nearly all stations. A local train. 
yeah, give it a five. Accommodative four. Accommodativeness three. Accommodator has the OR. It's going to be a five and a half. Accompanied to go with as an associate or companion. Yeah, I'll give it a three. A companier. Companier. A company. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck off. Shut up. Just shut up. <laughs> okay, no. Shut up. Doing it. Got it. <sighs> so, so smart. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll give that a one now. Accompaniment. I can say that one. Music, an instrument or a vocal part designed to support or complement a melody. Um, I like it. Give it a five. Uh -huh. uh, accompanimental. Same thing. Gonna give that a four. I don't like the AL at the end. Accompanist. One, such as a pianist, <laughs> who plays an accompaniment. <laughs> he will be her accompanist on the piano. Uh, yeah, I'll give that a five. A company everybody knows it's going to be a four accompanying going to be a four accomplice makes me think of crime uh, was convicted as an accomplice to murder yeah it's going to be a seven any luck oh no no i'm just i'm watching you now oh thank you um accomplish eh. to bring about a result by effort to bring to completion um, I don't know. Three accomplishments or five. Yeah, that sounds good. Accom accomplishable. I like things that are accomplishable because they sound easy. So seven. Accomplished. Uh, six, uh, four. Accomplisher. Classically me. <laughs> it's it's not. That's the joke. Uh -huh. um, so funny. give it give it a three. Thank you. Thank funny you. Thank you. Uh, accomplishes two accomplishing three accomplishment four accomplishment quotient ratio Ugh. used uh, usually multiplied by 100 of achievement like age to Math. mental age i don't understand so yeah i'm gonna like give it. that a two a compt archaic variant of account huh. uh, i kind of like that i'll give that a five Accounting. Oh, wait, I missed one. Uh, archaic variant of accounting. And accountant is going to be an archaic variant of accountant. So I think we should <laughs> switch back for a few years to accomps and accomptants. Yep. For no real reason. It just would make me happy. So give those all a five accord to grant or um. give, especially as appropriate, due or earned, to bring into agreement, reconcile. Um, Yes. Yeah, I'll give that a three. Yeah, that's fine. What would you have done if that lady like stopped and then found you in the store? I would have how told would her to learn reacted? how to fucking yield. What is she going to do? She's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> you got me on that one. You're right. All right. Um, I will give... Is that a chord? Yeah. Give that one a three, accordance, agreement, conformity, in accordance with the rule. Eh, it's very boring. Two, accordancy. Two, accordant. These words have not been fun today. There was one about a hawk. That was it. <laughs> yeah. Blows. All right, accordant. Uh, two, accordantly. Two, ooh, accordatura. This sounds cool. The, the tuning scheme of a stringed musical instrument. Uh -huh. G, D, is that uh, sharp or flat or what? I don't. D apostrophe. I, I can't, I don't read music, so I, I can't even begin no. to tell you. Well, never mind. Um, yeah, it sounds neat, though. I like it. I'll give that an eight. And accorded. Uh, two accorded with, two according two according as three accordingly three according to one according to one's lights formal according to one's idea of what is right never heard that before top 26 percent of words 
Uh, yeah, I don't like that phrase. I'll give it a one. According to plan, sure. Give that a four. According with, eh, that just sounds clunky and not good. Uh, so I'll give that a three. Accordion, a portable keyboard wind instrument in which the wind is forced past free reeds by means of a hand operated bellows. I do like uh, the word bellows. Yes. Doesn't so, weird, uh, give it a six. Weird, uh, just for that. Play an accordion too? Uh, sure. Okay. I'll give it a six for him. Neat. And I think this episode has gone on pretty much long enough. So. Oh, okay. How long has it been? It's been a, it's been a minute. Mm hmm. Oh, well, I remember one time looking at it about 21 minutes ago. Oh, okay. Um, accordion file or folder. Nope, it was supposed to be file, whatever. Same thing, a folder that is used for the organization and storage of documents and files that has pleated sides, which allow expansion of the folder. Fascinating. Going to give that a four for both. Accordionist is probably a person that plays the accordion. Basically. Um, I don't know. Five. Yeah. Ugh. All right, we'll do a few more. Accords to grant or give especially as appropriate to earn two accords with two accord with two a cost. Ah. Here we go. All right. To approach and speak to someone in an often challenging or aggressive way, he was accosted by a stranger on the street. <laughs> this is something I do a often. Giant fat loogie on his head for it. Um. Uh, I am. Uh, can often be seen on the streets of wherever we are. Um, Yelling pejoratives at uh, those that pass me by. So Honestly, this gets a though. 10. 10 out of yeah. 10. This is a perfect word. I've always pictured it as like somebody like grabbing someone. No, no, it's just verbal. Well, I, I, I know that, but like like the first hundred times I heard the word, I thought it was I thought it was somebody like grabbing them by the shoulders. I bet like people I mean, I'm sure people use it that up. way. But oh, they they're do. retarded, and I will tell them that to their face. You will accost them about it. Ah. Uh-huh. Because that is, that is an accostable offense. Yeah, being retarded. People of being. Yeah. Aw. Um, so. <laughs> you agreed. Nine. <laughs> you can't take it back it's now. Just, it's on the internet it's just forever. Oh. All right. All right. I might as well just uh, go full on heel now. And accosted, same thing. Nine, accosting, the act of spitting through someone's window when they don't yield. That is going to be an eight, accost. Seven, accouche. <laughs> uh, to assist during an accouchement. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm excited to learn what an accouchement is. Um, so give that one a placeholder three for now. Should we make this a big old cliffhanger so the one person that listens to this will be excited about what we start with next week? Nah, next I, day, I don't tomorrow. Have the patience. All right, accouchment. Oh, <laughs> gross. <laughs> it's funny because it kind of sounds like cooch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two out of ten. God. Good night, everybody. Hey, can you can you kick her just for a second so she'll stop snoring so loud?